Hi guys, Tim Burke from JTAC Ranch and welcome to the Gear Locker. Nate uh, Murr with KDG and I are going to talk to you for a few minutes about suppressors and considerations of suppressors. Uh, the three things that I like to bring out about suppressors are number one, uh, depending on what your mission is or what your operation is, uh, the obvious benefit is noise reduction. A normal uh, can is going to give you a noise reduction from about 150 decibels from an AR-15 platform down to the 90 to 100 decibel range, which is a significant reduction. The other thing you get, which is almost more important, is a reduction in, in flash. Uh, you might hear something, but when you look over there, the eye picks up movement and light quicker than anything. If you don't see a flash, you don't know where they are. The third consideration I would give you is if you're going to use a can, just understand that th your zero is going to change from shooting your w weapon without it or with it. Nate? So this suppressor here is actually a Silencer Co. Spec War, and there's a lot of good brands out there, but Silencer Co. is definitely one that I favor. And what I like about the Spec War is that it's one of their more rugged cans. It attaches to a variety of rifles very easily and has a pretty secure mounting system. So. What you have is it's a slight trade-off. It's one of a, a more heavy can than some designs, but it's full auto rated. So on this KDG Arc 4 full auto with a 12.5 inch barrel in this can, it's actually a very maneuverable package and provides a great level of sound reduction. It's, it's almost bulletproof. It's, it's a hard can to beat. Awesome. I know we use cans in Iraq. We use, used them with our, our recce guys going in to take out lights, maybe a barking dog or something like that. Uh, if you're going to use cans, we recommend Silencer Co. For more information about this product, go to silencerco.com, and we'll see you again on the gear locker.